How's it going guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today what I've got for you is of course a brand new iRate of Teams given the fact that it is Sunday and it's 10am. For cheap, fast and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description and use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. Okie dokie. Now over the weekend... Uh, we got ourselves the brand new Road to the Final promo uh, and the brand new Road to the Final team. And standout players in this team for me, uh, I, I think definitely Klosterm is a standout player. 400k is so expensive, but he looks like a, an incredible CB. I think Alfonso Davies is a left back. Incredible looking card. I think that in a couple of upgrades time will be the best left back in the game. Just a fireable 600k price range because I think you're investing for the long term. And then this Kunde card for a free card looks absolutely nuts. I would do this SPC if you guys haven't done it already. Sorry, the objective if you haven't done it already, because this is an absolutely quality card. Anyway, we've got, we're going to go straight into the team. So starting off with Owen's team, who says, This is my team. Only Werner is tradable, and I've got 20,000 coins for upgrades. I play a 4-1-2-1-2 in-game. If you guys could do me a huge favor, by the way, for the next episode, and send me two pictures of your team, the one that's in-game and one that, like, how you start, if that makes sense, that would be beautiful. Anyway, looking at this team straight away, it's a solid team to be fair. Uh, you've got really good players in each position. I would say, I probably wouldn't sell anyone. I would say you, you want to save up for uh, different players in each position. For example, maybe you save up for a better right wing. Maybe a Mares or a Lucas would be a good shout. Uh, sorry, maybe a Lucas for Mares would be a good shout. Uh, or if you want to look, go long term, maybe a Salah would be a good shout for that as well. Um, I think Pogba and Kante work really well as a pivot. Um, you know, I think Nelson Semedo is a really good right back, although he's off chem. I don't see any amazing like right back you can go for that gets full chemistry, though. I would say kind of keep it as is for now. Um, and let me know how that Mason uh, Mount is. Like, it looks like a decent SBC. Uh, in terms of value, I wonder how much it costs. It's about 78,000 coins, and it looks like a decent card in game. Three star skills puts me off, though. That's the only annoying thing. We've got Joe's team next. I've got eight, 180,000 coins for upgrades. Martial, Rashford, SBC players are untradeable. Love the vids. Let's check it out, mate. Why is it? I don't know why it goes blurry like this. I have no idea. Um, maybe I, I need to open up the original tweet and try it. No, it is just absolutely blurry as, as anything. It's Twitter's fault, by the way. It's not your fault. It's Twitter's fault. Um, the, the UI on Twitter is absolutely appalling. All right. First things first, I would say maybe look to get uh, a better right-sided midfielder here. I'm wondering French right mids. Are there any really good French right mids this year? I can't think off the top of my head if there is. Um... Let's have a quick look. So I'm thinking like French right mid would probably be a good shout because it gets full chemistry. There really isn't, is there? Oh, yikes. There's no good French right mids. I don't like seven chemistry. Eight chemistry is fine but for me, but I'm my biggest pet peeve is seven chemistry. I just don't think players play that great on seven chem. Your back line is incredible here. Mukiele, Klosterman, um, absolutely insane right there. Um, and in game, I genuinely can't tell what you play, but I'm guessing it's probably, I think it's Suzoko, Lorente, CDMs, Oyuza Bal as, as you can, who also looks like a solid card. The team is sick, to be fair. Um, 180,000 coins for upgrades, though. Sorry, I've been waffling on. I would look to try and get Varane in the team. Um, is... Yeah, okay, so, so Sergio Ramos is tradable. How much is Ramos going for? Ramos, what are you going for, lad? 120k. Give you about 300k. I think you can afford Varane. If so, I get Varane as your left centre back. Can you afford him? Ooh, just under. I would say save up the extra 20k or what, what not that you need and get yourself Varane for left centre back. Apart from that, I'd probably keep everything that was pretty similar for now. It's a solid team. Um, next team. Oh, God, it's all refreshed. I have to go from the start now. Uh, next team is Rawsey's team. Uh, all tradable. Just started playing FIFA 21. Hey, let's go. Um, okay. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna help you out massively here because I, I can tell you just started playing uh, FIFA 21. So Cyprian, Koke, um, and uh, Odegaard, get them out. Right, I don't know how many coins you've got here, but get yourself Marcus Lorente for your right centre mid. Get yourself in CDM. I would say maybe Atletico Thomas Partey. I don't know if he's uh, extinct or not. I don't think he is because he was in the game for quite a long time before he uh, the Arsenal one came out. Yeah, 10,500 coins. Get yourself Atletico Madrid Thomas Party for CDM. Left centre mid. Uh, who am I thinking for left centre mid here? Um, in terms of La Liga. La Liga is an interesting one. Who are we thinking for La Liga left centre mid? Because um, I want an offensive centre mid here for you. Let's have a quick look. Let's have a quick look at centre mid. Maybe a Modric wouldn't be a bad shout. It's not the most offensive centre mid, but like it's a good balance. I like, I like centre mids that are balanced but have good offensive stats. 
Um, I suppose Koke on the left wouldn't be terrible. Frankie De Jong wouldn't be a bad shout either. Valverde wouldn't be a bad shout. Uh, if you wanted to go with either of those cards, um, they would. neither of them would be bad shouts. Feke is not bad because he's got a lot of physicality, which would be really good. Um, yeah, honestly, it's your choice in terms of that left center mid spot. But I would say Party and uh, Marcus Llorente for your CDM and right center mid. And then at the back, I would try and get yourself long lay, save up towards him if you haven't got the coins already, uh, for Umtiti, or go Diego Carlos, whichever one you want to prefer. Um, both are pretty good. Diego Carlos probably edges it a little bit. And then for chemistry styles, across the back line, either Shadow or Anchor is what you want to go for. I'd also probably replace uh, Marcelo with like a Renan Lodi or a uh, or a Ferland Mendy. Um, Ferland Mendy is probably like long in the, in the future. But you want to go for like a shadow or an anchor for your chemistry styles. Um, anything that improves defending, even if he's a player that already has really good defending. Like for Ed Emily Tower, put a shadow or an anchor on him. Um, and then maybe at left striker, you want to save up and get yourself like an Antoine Griezmann. Uh, in fact, you could play Antoine Griezmann cam and put uh, uh, Jao Felix a left striker if you want. But apart from that, like the rest of the team is solid, to be fair. Uh, we've got Evan's team here. I am not rating it, though, because he was being absolutely toxic in my Twitch chat. Uh, he's being an absolute loser for no reason. So uh, you're all good, Evan. You can uh, enjoy watching, though. Thank you very much for still watching me, even though you think I'm all the names under the sun. Uh, we've got Harvey's team next. Uh, De Bruyne tradable. Any improvements for 200,000 coins? Oh, you're using the MLS plays. I respect it. I respect it. What would I say for this team? I respect that you're using them, but maybe, like, maybe taking them out and, and putting other players in. I'm not entirely sure, actually. Um, I don't think Bojan's much of a holding midfielder. What, what do I think? I think that you can maybe go with, like, Wijnaldum for Bojan um, and then get yourself, like, a... Uh, like, this is in the future. Uh, a Kyle Walker at right back and a rule breaker uh, Laporte at right centre back, maybe. Uh, but apart from that, oh, sorry, you've got Wijnaldum. I'm being an idiot. Sorry, you've got Wijnaldum. I'm, 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 I'm an idiot. Um, sorry, go for, go with Allen then at right centre mid. Then go with Kyle Walker at right back and rule breaker Laporte at right CB when you can afford it. Uh, and although I really do like those MLS players, I think that it's better to get those three players as opposed to forcing the three MLS players off chemistry. Um, everything else about this team is fantastic though. Uh, all right, next one is uh, the NDL Pro Club's leader. Let's go, dude. Is Power Messi from the stream? Hey, what's up, bro? Uh, here is my team. I play a 4 2 3 1 at the start of the game and then switch to a 4 2 1 2 narrow uh, later. Uh, I have no coins currently and I've got gold two and div one rival rewards. Let's go, Red Verna. I respect it. Um, decent backline, to be fair. Uh, so, this is what you play in game or this in game. So, depending on how you're feeling, you start with a 4 2 3 1 and then maybe switch to a 4 1 2 1 2. I think. In this 4 2 3 1, I'd actually play Son as your lamb and Werner up top. Passing ability of Son's better. Five star weak foot on the left is better. I would say go with Son at lamb. Um, I'd also probably say here, I would play Son at left center mid and Bruno Fernandes your cam as well in the 4 1 2 1 2 narrow. Uh, but that's just my personal preference. In terms of the actual team though, um, you haven't got coins yet, but you will have coins. I would, I would say. Try and maybe... Mm, I was going to say maybe get yourself a different CV over Laporte. But Laporte is still solid, to be fair, at this stage of the game. I don't think you get enough coins for a Virgil van Dijk from your awards. So maybe um, I would probably hold off. Uh, and then when you get enough coins, maybe upgrade that Laporte to the rule breaker version. I think pace is massively important this year. Like you could go with the Davinson Sanchez, for example, who's a cheaper option. Uh, the reason why I keep recommending this Laporte card is because he has got great defending, great physicals, but also 81 pace. Uh, and, and to be fair, you could go with the Virgil van Dijk if you want to. I think pace at the back is massively important this year, especially with how through balls are and things like that. So it's always nice to have a really good... Uh, option at the back uh Corey's team next what am i thinking uh what i'm thinking where could you upgrade this is what this is what you want to build i'm guessing this is nice this is really nice already this is a great team i probably wouldn't upgrade much here to be honest um probably just upgrade kai Havertz to the best cam in the in the premier league bruno Fernandes. apart from that <laughs> i'd keep everything else the same uh maybe you could save it for a, a kante over a parte as well 
But everything else about this team is fantastic, to be fair, mate. Um, I like the rest of it a, a lot. Uh, Mike's team next. This is my team. Seconds in game. Uh, only tradables are Dembele and Fabinho and Lorente. Sorry, I want to try and record for longer in this episode, but I need to keep taking water breaks if I, if I want to record for longer. Um, the bench is first, though, not untradable as well. And we'll have like 100,000 coins for improvements on Thursday. Love the content. Keep it up. Let's check it out. So, okay. All right. I mean, I respect what you're going for here. Um, and then obviously you're playing this in game. Jesus... Uh, Lamb, though? No, 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 no. Uh, Salah has to be a ram or a lamb here. I would say Jesus up top. Salah is your ram. Carrasco is your lamb here. I don't think Salah up top is a great option. Given, like, the three-star weak foot and, and, uh, and uh, um, the lack of being able to use both feet, I think massively puts you at a disadvantage having him as a striker. Um, he's way better suited to count. He's just... I think you're going to be too predictable having Salah up top. Um, but putting G Gabriel Jesus up top would give you, uh, in my opinion, way more dyna uh, dynamic up top. Um, the rest of the team looks solid, though. In terms of where I'd upgrade for this team, you're using Kyle Walker and Ambasaka at centre-back. I respect it. I can't even fault it. Like, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, Farla Mendy at left-back is probably the only option I'd go for here for a, for a big improvement. Um, just, if you can do the anti fatty SBC as well, I don't exactly know how much this card is, but I think they'd be better than Carrasco in your team. Like 165k, it's a lot of coins, but if you can get some good fodder in Div Rival rewards, probably worth it. Probably worth it. Like he'd be a decent shout. Uh, Brivet's team now, big, big up the mod Brivet. Uh, the second team is in game. Everyone untradeable other than Lopez and Zakaria. 250k for upgrades. Love the vids. Keep it the good work. Thank you very much, Brivet. I appreciate it, mate. And thank you for all the mod work. Um, Okie dokie. So, this is what he's rocking with. Zakaria. You got to let me know how he is, man, in chat after the, after this video. Um, I I know, obviously, you sub off Aguila, right? I would put Dagbert right back, though. Because even though you sub him off, I think that Dagbert is a better player than Aguila to have it right back. Because... You might get unlucky and the guy might hold the ball for the for the 30 or 40 minutes of the, of the first half. So I think Dagba is a better option at right back um, for like 500 coins as you start the game. Uh, I'm pretty sure most of this is untradeable or first owner though. Because I know you I know you pack Messi on this account and obviously you got a lot of SPC cards, uh, which is absolutely solid. Um, so everyone's untradeable other than Lopez and Zakaria. Yeah, it's a, it's a decent team. In terms of improvements, where would I improve her? Because you play a 4-2-3-1, right? Um, play Messi, Cam, Bellarabi, Ansu Fati, Usman, Dembele. I think where I'd improve here is probably Usman. I just don't know who I'd improve to. The thing about Usman is he's got like 60 stamina and it lets him down. Apart from that, I would say he's great. La Liga lack a lot of great strikers this year, though. They they absolutely do lack a lot of great strikers. Um, and you did oh you did do Inaki Williams. I'm surprised you don't play Inaki Williams at top, to be honest. I am very surprised. I know he's got a two-star weak foot, but I think in everywhere else, he's better than Usman. Like, I, I really do. I'm surprised. I, I, I do apologize. Joey's just subscribed to the Twitch channel. Uh, there you go. You can see it right there. Um, he just actually covered my face cam in the middle of the video. But thank you very much, Joey. Um, but yeah, no, uh, I'd say just try and upgrade your Dembele. Apart from that, I mean, the team is really, really nice. That back line is pretty saucy. Definitely one that I want to check out. Uh, and we're back down here. We've got, uh, we've done Joe's team because it was super blurry. We've done Harvey's. Uh, we've got Dizzy's team. Uh, Neymar untradeable. The rest are tradable. 200k for upgrades. Congrats on the weight loss. Thank you, man. Okay, well, I'm going to go on, going to go out on a limb and say that Paulinho and Talisco are both untradeable as well. I might be wrong. You might have accidentally somehow bought these players on the market, but I'm going to guess that they are untradeable. I love this, though. This, like, little cam perfect link, that's really cool. I like that a lot. I like how you've done that. Um, what would I say with this team? Hazard for Usman. Um, and then... Maybe Fabinho for Sissoko. That's a big shout, but it gets you full chemistry. It's a big shout. Probably not, actually. I'd probably I'd probably not do that. Upon thinking about it, Sissoko is one of the best players in the game. This is a great team. I, I, I Yeah, I would say Hazard over Sissoko. Uh, sorry, Hazard over Usman Dembele. But apart from that, I mean, it's a fantastic team, to be honest. It's a really good team. Um, and GG on the red Paulinho as well. And the untradeable Neymar. That is a big win. Um, all right, we Mike spammed his team. Mike, you get a block. <laughs> we've got Stuart, Fids, and then we are done for the episode. So we've got a 4 2 in game with Werner, uh, untradeable, got 100k. Any improvement, keep the good work. I got it, bro. Let's have a look. 
I like it. I like the two perfect. Uh, sorry, the strong link here and the perfect link with Werner and Havertz. I like the links down here. Again, I'd probably say maybe ha Hazard over Dembele. Just personal opinion. Uh, or personal preference, should I say. Um, what else would I say? Honestly, <clears throat> this is another bold one. Adama Chayora at right mid might not be a bad shout. Might not be a bad shout. I don't know. Throwing it out there. Um, or Jotha, maybe. Just saves you a lot of coins. You can then use the Son coins to upgrade elsewhere. Apart from that, the rest of the team is sick, to be fair. The rest of the team is really, really good. Courtois in net. Courtois this year? Unreal. Absolutely unreal. He's phenomenal. Courtois is one of the best goalies in the game this year. Um, and then we've got Fid's team to end off the episode. 100,000 coins. Gomez, Fatty, Rash, Alaba, Lorente, and Untradeable. Keep it the good work. Much love, A. Much love, bro. I don't know why it's blurry again. Um, but you got 100,000 coins to upgrade. I would just save, mate. I'd just save your coins and get yourself a better CB. Um, I'd probably say in goal as well. Uh, I use either Allison or De Gea. Both are great. Um, apparently Nick Pope's OP, but I've I've played against a few Nick Popes in the weekend league and absolutely destroyed all of them. So I beg to differ. Um, what you could do here, honestly, if you could save up the coins, you're gonna have to get about five six hundred k together. But get yourself, I'm gonna recommend them again, rule breaker Laporte. But get yourself rule breaker Laporte for Nelson Semedo. Put him at left centre back and get yourself Ferland Mendy at left back. And Bob is your uncle. Probably. I don't know, actually. That's probably not a fact. But that's it for the episode. If you guys did enjoy, please do like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new around here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.